Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Finkelstein, thank you so much for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Founder BB Show. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Well, you know, the weather is fallish, and I want us to think about our wellness also as we go from summer to fall. Give us some idea of things that we can do to be prepared. Excellent. That's really a great question. And I think this is the time of year you should be thinking first and foremost about getting your flu shot, um, especially after last year. So late October, early November is a wonderful time to get that. And when you're at your doctor's office or wherever you get it, think about how are my other immunizations? You know, maybe it's time to boost your tetanus as well. And then starting the fall and winter with your best foot forward um, helps. So by that, I mean, make sure that you are getting enough rest every night. We love you to get seven to eight hours of sleep sleep, try to eat a nutrient-dense diet most days of the week, and exercise most days of the week. That will at least, you know, allow you to be at your best for the upcoming season and be prepared for the season. You know, go, don't go to the store when you're sick. Go now and collect your medication toolkit of sorts. Get your favorite decongestant, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, cold remedies, so that you're ready just in case you do get sick. Okay, we talked about the flu a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, is the flu going to be different this year? You know, every year it's, you say it's different. And yeah. what are some of the symptoms we, we can use to identify if we think we have the flu? Yeah, one thing that doesn't change is the symptoms. So I think that you're right on to ask that. And high fever, hitting you all of a sudden is a big differentiator between the flu and, say, colds or even allergies. You know, you're going to get that sudden onset, the fever, aches and pains. You just really don't want to move. You'd prefer to lie on the sofa or your bed. Um, maybe you'll get some head cold symptoms, but not always. And maybe you'll get some GI upset, a little nausea, diarrhea, but not always. Unlike the colds, which will give you that sort of scratchy throat warning, you might get a little sneezy. And allergies, you tend to notice a pattern of, okay, in the fall, I'm affected by this. So the flu is a difference uh, from those others. Okay, so you've got these symptoms. When do you make that big decision, I'm not going to school or I'm not going to work? Yeah, and fever is the big, I think, the biggest indicator or the biggest symptom. You know, you really are more contagious when you have an active fever, and you should just stay home and rest. Rest is always the best medicine. I also suggest that you look at your symptoms. If you really are suffering with a runny nose or a loose cough that sounds awful, or even, you know, watery eyes, people don't want to be around that, and you're going to be more likely to leave your germs on surfaces. Um, stay home in that regard as well. And if you just don't feel right, or if, say you have children and they're not acting themselves, again, another indicator to maybe just take it easy for another day or so until you recover and can get back to normal. I want my audience to know that Dr. Mia Finkelstein is a board-certified family physician. She's got more than 20 years of experience. Can't believe that because she only looks 20, but she oh, says she's got you. 20 years of experience, <laughs> but she sounds so authentic, so we'll go with that. <laughs> okay. Dr. Finkelstein, as we uh, approach this, so give us an, an arsenal of tools to stay healthy and to stay well, because I'm a believer on the Valder BB Show and in my life that my health is my wealth tool. Because mm -hmm. if I'm sick, I can't make money. That, that's absolutely true. Well, hopefully everyone has a relationship with a primary care physician, but video-based doctor visits, like using Life Health Online, um, are a great way to have another you know, item in your arsenal, as you said. So you can connect via a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer with a webcam with a U.S.-based board-certified physician like myself anytime, anywhere, at your convenience. The doctors like me can um, speak with you about common non-emergency medical problems, so such as the cold and flu, um, allergies, skin conditions, pink eye, and much more. We can come up with a treatment plan after we you know, talk about a diagnosis and then prescribe medication if it's necessary to a pharmacy that you selected prior to connecting. Um, we also have a Spanish-speaking platform where uh, patients, consumers can select a Spanish-speaking provider if they would like that. So um, you can go to livehealthonline.com to learn more about that. 
Dr. Finkelson, I'd like to ask you personally, how has this technology of, of live health and coming into people's home as a physician, how has that changed your career? Oh, tremendously. I've been doing this now for six years full time, and I, I almost, well, I do feel that it's like a house call again. I can see patients on their terms. They often call from home. You can see that they feel miserable. They're lying in bed with the covers up to their chins. Maybe the kids are running around behind them. Um, you get uh, uh, such a, um, a picture that I never saw in the office of how that patient is really doing. So I, I really enjoy it, and I think it adds another dimension into the care that I can provide for them. All right. I'm going to take this one Facebook post because it's really cute. They say, will we ever see the day where our physician will Skype in with their pajamas on to take care of us? <laughs> well, between, <laughs> between you and me, I usually have on pajama bottoms and slippers, but from here up, I, I look uh, professional. So <laughs> stay tuned. Thank, thank you, Dr. Finkelson. Sure. Thank you so very much for what you do and who you are. Thank you.